Hi guys and welcome back and I'm just pulling apart this monitor screen off a LCD laptop and we're going to have a quick look at what's inside and have a chat about what we can reuse in the actual monitor itself off the laptop and see what we can uh, there's one other thing that I've got here is um, I've got a set of head headphones that uh, power off a little box I think everyone's got one of those I just pull one down to just have a quick look at uh, what what's actually inside them so there's a lot of uh, diffuse hey guys I'm just pulling apart the back of the LCD display on the old computer screens now the strip that I've just pulled down is actually the wires that go up to an LED this um, light and that will control the light for the actual vision on the actual screen. There is, when you pull these things apart, there are I think about three to four diffuser pieces of what they're right there. They're all diffusers, they diffuse the light and they're handy to make into a little uh, cone type thing and you can use them for uh, putting an LED in and make them look Gucci if you want to do that. I pulled also some Perspex which I used in other projects. Uh, last week I repurposed some of it and bent it and fixed a uh, light fitting with it. Now pulling these things apart aren't that hard um, you have to remove the circuit board, which is down the bottom. It has a little bit of gold in it, uh, and it probably comes in handy. The camera uh, can be reused if you can get hold of the USB connectors for it, and they become very good handy uh, security cameras. So if you can get hold of those on eBay, I don't know whether I can find them. I'll have a look. But, uh, yeah, they'd be handy for that type of thing. Other than that, pulling them apart isn't that hard. And um, yeah, just have a go at pulling them apart. Just watch out for that glass on the front. If it's broken, um, it will cut you. And you have to be a bit careful with that as well. That's the backing. And pulling apart the last couple of screens, here we go. We're just getting them apart now. Anyway, yeah, if you find these things interesting, please subscribe and uh, please like. And I hope you're all safe and having a great day. Yeah, so that's about it for this one.
this earphones power supply that comes with the ear jacks and there's a couple of it looks like an uh, 4056 power, um, chip and a couple of pins to charge the actual uh, ear, earphones that you get and it comes with about two lipo batteries underneath it to charge it as well I think there is a buck boost converter on that board right there and other than that it's just uh, parts around it to support the actual 4056 chip and that's about it on that board so if you can pull them apart you can still get the lipo batteries out and they might be handy for other projects and that's about it for here just a little bit on the inside of here you can see all the LEDs so they changed them from a fluoro to an LED system um, the pins are over here off the original so I might be able to turn this or use this because they're all there see if I can light this thing up so you got actually tells you a positive and negative there and yeah I don't think I broke it, I think I just pulled it out of its slot. But we might be able to put a little bit of power on that and be able to use that as a light. We'll have a go at that. Hey guys, still working on this. Um, got the wires hooked up, got my positive negative hooked up. Got a little power supply here running. So around about 20 volts, light starts turning on. You can see the light there. So I've got it at about 23 volts there and I could probably just hook it up somewhere and have a little bit of a downlight happening there or brighten up in the corner there. So I could just turn it up a little bit higher. So at 27 volts DC, I can use that as a standard light in my shed and it still works pretty good. So just a little bit of thought, there's heaps of those just sitting around, they cost nothing. They're off your old laptops, if your laptop's broken and you need to use it, you can just put it with a DC power supply. It's pulling about point, what is it, 30 milliamps. Around about 30 milliamps it's pulling at about 26 volts. Uh, and you can go up a little bit higher I'd say, but I don't want to push it too high. You probably uh, it will go up to 30 odd, but in our case we don't need it that high. I'll probably use that. I'll put a couple of them strips hanging off along here, and they'll be handy. So I'm getting them for next to nothing. So why not use them? Okay, catch you on the next video, and hopefully that will give you a bit of thought to not throw broken screens out because there's handy bits of pieces in there and I did pull out the circuit board and there was a bit of gold in it so don't throw stuff out until you pull it apart and if you're a young kid have a go at it it's not going to affect you in any way shape or form 30 volts won't hurt you and it's not going to cost you anything hey guys just a quick update see this little piece of gear here it's got two Wi-Fi antennas on it. I pulled it out of a, a defunct Telstra box that they sell, but it was brand new. So they, they didn't actually use them. They tried to uh, do a Foxtel type deal. And these are inside the box with the actual main board. Now I've replaced it from this. This one was playing up a little bit, but this was like $14 from China. Now, if you can't get anything from China, these are in a lot of the desktop boxes and they seem to work real well. Like, um, it's just restoring. Uh, if I restore, restore all the stuff I've done and it does it quite quickly. So, yeah, something that, and it's got, it's got 5G, 5G and it's got, um, 2.4 as well so it's on a separate network so when you go down here I actually had to open up 
a separate network, so it was Wi. It was called Wi-Fi Four. They actually named it. So yeah, so I've got that one or my normal Wi-Fi. So yeah, and that cost me nothing. So I'll probably put that, make a little box up for it and pop it in it. And yeah, if you need a Wi-Fi connection and your laptop is old and you can't get hold of a internal card, that does a, a great job. So yeah, um, other than that, I'm just on Brett's side at the moment, checking out my batteries. There's a lot of batteries I haven't got listed at the moment. And yeah. Also, I found out that this little baby will start my mower quite easily because I grabbed some of these and made a little connector. I'm gonna solder these together and put that together. Uh, what are you guys doing today? Seems to be a bloody cold one here in Australia. And yeah, I don't know what to do for the rest of the day, but yeah, I'll put this up with a bit of the other stuff I've been doing. It's been pretty quiet at the moment. I have been uh, making parts. I'll show you a couple of parts I've been making. Yeah, my place is a bit of a mess. I've been making parts for a CNC machine. It's called the CNC Top. And I've been trying to get parts for it and I've got one part and I'm pulling them from um, old printers. So, yeah, we'll keep up with that and see if I can get some more work done. I've been improving my lighting in my shed to try and be better at doing YouTube. Not that I'm really great at YouTube, but I've got a lot of interesting characters hanging around on my YouTube channel and they make me want to keep producing some stuff so that I'll keep everyone happy and moving along. So if you're on my channel, please give me a shout out and yeah keep watching my content if you can and look after yourselves and stay safe and yeah we're all going to get through whatever's happening in the next couple of months and yeah catch you then bye hey guys just pulled this apart now there's a couple of screws on top that goes on there you need to remove this it's upside down on this one it uses this switch to turn it on and off. So this is the latest Dyson. Um, has a plug here. Might be handy for something. Don't know what, but it will. Uh, and then the batteries, you just click, take the clips off as per any other battery. But this sits over the top and it looks like it's in one piece. You need to lightly ease it up using two screwdrivers and you just pop them out then they come with a rubber some sort of rubber shocker that they've put on them uh, yeah and they're all a very good battery so they're 2600 so there's seven of them in these packs not six so yeah we'll get them charged up and have a look what what they're like so they've virtually only got these rubbers on one end, which rests against this when you push it down, and they all clip in. I think it's a great idea. It's a good design. Like, I'd be happy with uh, having a design like this. And I believe that they don't have the heat sensors straight down there anymore. I would say that temperature sensors are sitting underneath, so they don't cause your grief trying to get the actual batteries back out if you want to recycle them which is good Dyson have thought about it a little bit they could rebuild these packs if they needed to and you could send back your pack get it rebuilt and sent out again which is great now the only thing I can say and I understand why Dyson's, Dyson's doing this they're covering all these with a silicon gel to stop people from copying their designs, which people will copy it anyway, and work out what these chips and things are on it, which is fine. But this causes a lot of heat. I've been working in the military and I've had equipment that have caused heat. Uh, they're not in service anymore, but I've had people that have made equipment like that and it just overheats. 
so not not a great idea I'll take these two out and I'll put them on charge I'll, I'll test a couple of them I think there was only one that was down and that caused the whole system so I'd say that BMS is still in one piece although I've cut a couple of wires I could probably fix that though and I've been pulling these out of printers so this is just a NEMA uh, I think it's a NEMA Oh, no, no, 23 no not even a 23 I think it's only an 18 or 17 or whatever and um, I got them out of a printer a laser printer only a small laser printer too so yeah that's exactly the same as the ones that come with your CR10 so yeah I've been doing a couple of things I know the place is a bit of a mess at the moment I'm working on things picked this up the other day not sure what I'm going to use it for but it was used for a three phase um, load some sort of load and that was with it too but it had two legs on it but I had to remove the legs I'll put some new ones on and that's null load so yeah just um, going through some batteries still and that's about all I'm doing today and I've got to put out a video which I've done sometime today all right, well, and other things I'm doing, um, I'm trying to get into a bit of CNC, only because I want to design my own boards. Not design my own boards, but copy other people's boards to buddy, make some BMSs so I can start getting a power wall happening. Because uh, this is a crazy world we live in, and a power wall might come in handy. So anyway, yeah, wish me luck. Thank you, and that's it from me.